Hello children, myself Nikita. Today we are going to discuss about reading and analysis of maps. So about the maps you have learnt in the previous classes like different types of maps, why maps are useful to us, how we can prepare the maps like uh, for what reason we are using the maps. So all these things you have learnt in previous classes right and about the maps also you have learnt in previous classes there are different types of maps physical maps, political maps, historical maps, thematical maps. Yes, these all things you have learnt in the previous classes. So, in this class we are going to learn that who has introduced these maps, how many years ago these maps have been introduced. Yes, now coming to the topic reading and analysis of maps. So, there was a much difference between a map and a photography. A map and a photography. There was a much difference in the map. So you can see here, you can see a satellite photography showing map. So in this picture, this was taken from the satellite. It was a direct photography from the space, like how the world looked like. And you can see here a map photography. You can see the difference between these two pictures is, in the map you can see all the boundaries. Yes, the boundaries, the continents and the oceans means the water bodies you can see it clearly. But in the photograph taken from the satellite only you can see a picturization what was the present situation there. So there was a much difference between a map and the photo. The first difference between a map and the photo was the main thing is land. The main thing is land. So in the map you can see a land, a clear picturization of the land you can see and the how much area it was covered. Yes or no in the map you can see. Next the area, the square feet meters you can see in the map. But coming to the photo you can see only a particular land. Only a particular land you can see. You cannot assumption, assumption the land of the photo just you can see a particular land here you can see the how much area it was covered in a centimeters or in a square feet meters yes you can see here next coming to the difference in the map you can see the physical divisions yes what are the physical divisions for example the physical divisions means mountains Plateaus, hills, plains. Yes, you can see a clear picturization of the mountains, plateaus, plains, hills, and water bodies. You can see it in a clear manner in a map. But coming to the photography, you cannot see a clear picturization of a mountain. Just you can see a physical divisions there. Only you can see the mountains are present here. Yes, the water bodies are present here. But you cannot see a, phys a clear physical divisions in the photography. Next. See, in the map you can see a rainfall. Yes, the temperature, the climatic conditions. Yes or no? We can look into the map. By seeing the map we can know the rainfall, soil types. Population, rainfall, soil type, population, we can see a clear picture in the map but not in a photography. And in the map you can see a people, a different religion of people where they are living, a different languages spoken by the people. Like we can see a different things in the map clearly but not in a photography. A photography is just a present situation there we can see from the satellite okay next topic map see a map is a three dimensional picture yes a map is a three dimensional picture and 
A map actually is a model of a place giving those features that the map makers consider to be a of importance. What they are telling? See, for example, globe. Yes, see, we can see a clear picture of a globe in a flat surface. That is known as map. Understood? So, we can see only a three dimensional pictures in a flat surface of a geographical area. So, taking three dimensional is length, breadth and next is volume. So, it is coming to a flat surface, it will become only a length and the breadth. It will become only a length and the breadth. So, in the map we can see the length and the breadth of the map. But coming to the photography, but coming to the photography, we cannot see a clear picture of a length and the breadth of the photography. See, a photography is a present situation. A photography is a present situation. What is happening there? See, for example, if you photo, take a photography of a nature, you can see surroundings covering of a hills, mountains and the trees. That's it. But if you take a map, you can see how much area of the mountains are there, how much area of where covered by the like oceans. Yes or no? We can see a lot of difference between a map and the photography. Now coming to the point. See, how did the olden people were preserve the maps? For example, see, in the earlier days only we have maps, yes? See, how did the people have introduced the maps? They have, how they have invented the maps? For what reason they have prepared the maps? See, for how they have preserved these maps? Yes? So, now look into it. These maps have been introduced 2600 years ago. These maps have been introduced 2600 years ago. Like, see, now we are going to see how the olden days people have used this map. That is, map down the ages. The topic is map down the ages. See, there was a two type of people, Sumerians. The Sumerians are known as present Iraq people. Next is Babylonians. These are second type of people. The Sumerians and the Babylonians. See, the first introdu introduction of the map was there by the Sumerians. The Sumerians, they have introduced this map 2600 years ago. For them, a map is only a clay tablet. It's only a clay tablet. Clay tablet and tentama. Matti toni oka palakala antidi. Matti to jesina oka palakala antidi. So the Sumerians, they have invented this clay tablet. For what reason they have invented? See, Sumerians, they were the historians. They have lot of temples there. So to construct the temples, the Sumerians' temples owned large tracts of land and they had to kept an account of income from the lands. So for keeping the account, and the records and for the temple constructions they have used this clay table here they have given look here they have used the clay tables the Sumerian clay tables yes they have used for the construction of the temples and for keeping the records and the accounts which are uh, done by the people to the Sumerians yes they have introduced these maps the next is they try to keep records of the lands with the help of the maps. So, how they have preserved these maps? By using the records, accounts and construction of the temples. They were mostly uh, like uh, interested in construction of the temples, Sumerians. The Sumerians are the present Iraq people. The Iraq people are known as Sumerians. Next coming to the Babylonians, they are much uh, further than the Sumerians, and the Sumerians can income undu naru and Ardaman Mata. Okay, they are much further than the Sumerians. See, the Babylonian, they have thought that the Babylonian should be in the middle center of the map. 
मिडिल सेंटर ऑफ द मैप दे थॉट दैट द लोकेशन ऑफ द बेबीलोनियंस मीन्स द एरिया शुड बी इन द मिडिल सेंटर ऑफ द मैप सो दे हैव इन्वेंटेड दिस मैप्स आफ्टर दैट द बेबीलोनियंस इज इन ए मिडिल सेंटर ऑफ द लोकेशन एंड दिस कवर्ड बाई सेवन ट्रयांगुलर ईलैंड they are covered by so these babylonians are covered by seven triangular islands and one river and one river so these babylonians they have thought that the babylonians should be in a middle of the map so they have introduced this map and they have done at the center of the map and it was covered by seven triangular islands and covering with one river clear children so the basic thing is the scientist the scientist ptolemy the scientist ptolemy is one of the most famous geographers of the ancient world prepared detailed maps of the world using these lines so after that what had happened so the first thing this he was a geographer the ptolemy he was also a geographer he also invented these maps and next thing is he had invented latitudes and longitudes on this on this map he had introduced latitudes and the longitudes next coming to the point not only the sumerians and the babylonians the other group of people are also there for the introduction of these maps sorry for the invention of these maps the other group of people are there they are greek romans so the romans are the meridi meridians and the greeks are anaximander see anaximander was a greek geographer so anaximander he was a greek geographer next and next is eridotus so these people these three people are from the greek and from the roman are the meridians so why they have invented these maps see for see for the sailors sailors and tevaru they will sail from one place to another place so sea lo ne travel chese vallu anamata yes or no so for the sailors they should know the climatic conditions and the weather conditions for the outer part see for example the sailors they, they are starting from here they should know the destination point they should reach the destination point without any uh, like uh, destroy uh, like without any disaster yes or no so they want to know how the climatic conditions are there so for that reason these people the anaximander eridotus and the meridians they have started that they have started inventing these latitudes and longitudes with the help of the ptolemy latitudes and longitudes see latitudes and longitudes will help us to locate the places and the to help us the timings also okay so these are the people with the help of sumerians and babylonians after these people the greek and the roman people are also started sailing and they have started knowing about the maps clear children 
So, the next part I will continue in the next class. Thank you.